continuing on with Henry Aiken's um, back system, I'm going to look at um, Matthew has a in turtle and Matthew's got his hooks in and he locks harness control. Now again, we looked at last time, I could put my head on the mat and basically make a slope and then free a leg and start to work that gain. But sometimes he'll lock harness control and from that position, he'll like flatten me out. Now I want to make sure my hands are free. But I have to be aware of the choke from this position. He can engage his hips and then just start looking for the choke. So immediately from here, I'm going to turn my hip, plant my right foot on the mat. If, if, if Matthew's right arm is over my shoulder, I'm going to be planting my right foot on the same side as the choking arm. I'm also going to stretch out my left arm to make sure his underhook can't um, pass over my left shoulder. And then I turn my hip. Now, when I turn my hip, we'll get another angle in a minute. This is going to remove Matthew's bottom hook and I end up in this position. And now I'm just going to take a nap. I'm not going to hang here. Probably Matthew's transition from here would be to the team out. Yes. Take a bias step. So from here, I'm in a, a position where I'm not under pressure. I haven't his hips engaged into me, so it's more comfortable. I'm also gluing my left ear to my left um, bicep so he can't get the choke. And now I'm just kind of kind of do like an elbow knee escape. My right elbow's coming to the inside. I'll use that as a wedge and then I'll weave my right knee to the inside. More than likely, Matthew's going to try and keep top. And when he does and puts his hands on the mat, I'll just bring it into them. I can win the underhook and then we're back into our half guard position. Um, just get another angle on this side, bro. So in this variation, we'll look at wrist pinned in the, in the next one. He's flattening me out. My hands are free. Again, you can hear the grimace in my voice. This is very uncomfortable. I'm going to get myself comfortable. I'm going to plop my right foot on the mat and physically turn my hip. Notice the way my left hip is on the mat. And now from this position, I'll make the wedge with my right elbow. And then I bring my knee inside. Again, from here, it really depends on what Matthew does. You know, if he releases the harness options to move into deep half guard would be another position we could play although Henry Aikens doesn't play deep half guard so better not stick that into his game. I'll just do one more angle. So he's got hooks in, he has harness, my hands are free, drives me down. As I'm falling I turn my hip. I have to smear to remove his bottom hook Left arms on the mat, I glue my left ear to my left um, bicep so he can't um, bring his underhook hand down to connect his hands to choke. Now from here I make an elbow on the inside and I just weave my leg here. And now I'm just waiting to see what he's going to do. I mean he's probably not going to keep harness control from this position. As he rebases I'm just turning into him. And again from there I can win the underhook. And Start playing half guard, whatever presents itself.